What is going on people? Leah here from Creative Tech Lab and we are back today again with another iMovie tutorial. Today we are talking specifically about iMovie trailers. Now I really love iMovie trailers. I don't use them as much as I used to but they're definitely one of the things that helped me get into videography and some filmmaking um, to start. I use these for a couple of big important moments in my life. It was particularly around iPhone, I want to say four or five, when it is that they came out with these iMovie trailers and I thought they were so cool. I used one to shoot my honeymoon. I used one to shoot both kids' birth announcement. And the thing that makes them really cool is that they give you a built-in structure. So it gives you an outline, a storyboard, and it also gives you a shot list. And this is good for two reasons. For one, what it is that you're a new filmmaker, if you're not really a filmmaker at all, and you're just doing this for friends and family, it gives you an idea of what to shoot beforehand if you do look at it. But even if you don't look at it, you could quickly go through and just know who the subjects are in your video and just pick them out, which I'll show you here in a little bit in the software. And then the other cool thing is, is the movie-like and super cinematic sounds that come with it. The music that are in these trailers are movie quality type soundtracks and scores for these trailers. So once you put your clips to it and everything is already cut up to go to the music, then it just almost anything that you put in it looks really good. And that's why I think they're pretty cool and pretty amazing. And your family will think that you are a uh, genius because they don't know what it is that you're using. So let's jump into the software real quick and I will show you guys how it is that we'll put one of these together and we'll see how it comes out and show you the shot list, the storyboard and everything else to make an epic family video from your iMovie trailer. All right, so we are in iMovie here. And what you wanna gonna do is you're gonna go and create new and you have two options. You have either movie or trailer as we're talking about trailers obviously we're going to do the trailer here and the cool part is you get all these different options for trailers so romance is what i did for my honeymoon when i referenced the honeymoon video and narrative is the one that i did for one of the birth announcements which came out pretty cool as well so you can always go here and do a little preview and it will show you what it looks like and Apple already has some family videos and stuff in there uh, from different people's trips or whatever wherever they got the video from so it kind of gives you an idea which is pretty cool so I am not going to use narrative let's see what we're going to use here let's see if we could do adventure and see how epic that one comes out and that one's for a cast member of one so that should be pretty cool and this is what I'm talking about here so you have the movie name um, which you could change. We'll change that here in a little bit. And then you have the star. So I'm going to put Leo. Davis. There, Davis family film, blah, blah, blah. And then this cool part here, some of your friends and family will kind of notice if they're paying attention, but it just has a bunch of different things that you could put like on an end credit screen, which is pretty cool for a trailer as well. So the cool part here is that, again, it gives you an outline you could do. So let's just say movie name is Leo and the, uh, let's say, Beach Adventure. So you could go do some cool things there. I think the coolest part, though, is this here, which gives you a pretty much an outline. So... The text right here is your animated text, which again looks pretty cool and it has the timeline or whatever. And then it kind of gives you pretty much a shot list. So that shows up in two places. This is everything in the timeline, in the storyboard and how it's going to go together. And then there's a shot list here. So it tells you exactly what to get. It tells you get three clips of whoever the character is. In this case, it's myself. It tells you to get five action clips, a couple of landscape clips. Uh, medium shots wide shots or whatever and it doesn't always have to be you yourself or pictures you could kind of play around with this but it, again it gives you a pretty cool structure which i think most people need in order to create something cool um so i usually just if it is that i've thought about something before i normally reference the shot list so just 
so just so that i have a little bit of an idea the other cool part here is you don't have to do any cuts or selection to your stuff so let's just look at here so what what you can do here is select the landscape so you could go here and then you could just kind of go along your clip the selection's already made for you and it drops it right there onto your clip so it's looking for leo davis there there i am i kind of look right here pick up me and my son boom drop that there and then you could just and you could just keep going and doing that as you go and you'd get some pretty cool shots so let me go ahead and drop some things on here i don't want to bore you by making the video too long all right so we have some clips filled in here and i just kind of change the storylines it's not a bunch of coherent clips like i didn't shoot this for this it's just a bunch of clips that kind of go together and fit the story that i'm telling which i think kind of shows the how the structure can still help build a pretty cool story these shots were not meant to go together like this but it kind of works out um, i could have shot something but that would have taken a little bit longer and most people i think that were watching this tutorial didn't necessarily create an entire storyline in mind they just kind of shot some clips and are kind of putting it together so i think this serves for a better example here so let's see let's run it and see what we got So yeah, as you can see, it is that easy to just drag and drop and take your family clips from your last vacation or look at something like this for your next vacation and kind of plan out your shots just a little bit. Nothing too over the top because, again, once paired with the storyboard, with the transitions, with the music, you're always going to get something that makes that looks pretty creative. And when you fill in the words there with some little humor or some little creative things there and little touches... Um, for your family depending on the mood of the video you can get something that's really good and it's a great one minute clip that you have there so those are your iMovie trailers hopefully you liked it thank you for watching this is creative tech lab where we do talk about all things creative check out the website creativetechlab.com to follow everything that we are doing including audio engineering music production video creation all those different creative disciplines and as far as iMovie goes, I'm trying to do at least one of these iMovie tutorials every week. So look out for that. You can catch the one that we did last week was about speed ramping and then look forward for another one next week as well. So hit the notification button, hit the subscribe button. You will not be disappointed and I will catch you in the next one. So outtakes. I know that I put together the example with just some clips that I had, but one of the things I was thinking about was just shooting a video for you guys that would be kind of funny. Um, didn't want to take up too much time doing that. However, I'm going to try to do that real quick and I will just see what the results are. I'm going to shoot it really, really quick right before, like in 15 minutes, and that will be our outtake.